you so much, Catherine. Uh, so why Left Bank's Books? <laughs> well, Left Bank Books is a radical collective that was formed in 1973. Oh, wow. And that was just a couple years after the plans to demolish uh, Pike Place Market were ended yeah. uh, through a resistance movement of people who felt that redeveloping the market by destroying it was not the best, yeah. <laughs> best idea. <laughs> and um, I thought we'd meet here because uh, the book, uh, the class that I'm teaching is called uh, Social Justice in the City. Oh, wow. And um, one of the things that we're looking at as a key theme of the course is urban redevelopment. Yeah. And I wanted to give people a sense of some of the resistance to re redevelopment projects that they don't think are good for the community or for individuals and how they have arisen to, to contest some of those movement, uh, some of those projects. What do you mean by social justice? I'm not too sure. Well, uh, social justice means different things to different people, of course, but um, for the purposes of the class, what I'm trying to do is give people um, a voice and uh, an argument. So uh, we're not just looking at urbanization projects yeah. and structuring forces and then throwing up our hands and saying, oh, well, you know, <laughs> what can you do? We're um, thinking, well, what is a social justice answer to something that we don't think was a good project? Yeah. Um, and um, so social justice in, the, in this class is a, the ways of thinking about um, reactions and uh, arguments and claims that one can make um, to challenge uh, things that are unfair for vulnerable populations yeah. or for the, the poorest or the homeless or, or even just people who don't want a project in their backyard and think it's not good for the community. And this is what, what you mean, I mean, I'm guessing, because you said resistance at some point. Is this the resistance that you mean that you're talking about? I mean, the kind of resistance that we're going to look at in the class? Well, uh, resistance is one form of challenge to, yeah. to things that we don't think are just. Yeah. And for example, in um, where we are right now at Pike Place Market, um, people like Victor Steinbrook uh, was an architect. Yeah. Uh, rose up in the 1960s and pulled together a coalition of people. <laughs> wow. So it wasn't just him as an individual. <laughs> Um, to resist uh, the the demolition of the market, and personally, I think that was a good thing because yeah. I think the market's beautiful. And actually, economically, you can also argue that that's a good thing because this is one of the greatest tourist draws, uh, draws in all of Seattle. Mm -hmm. So, resistance is um, is not just like the individual saying I resist something, but it's <laughs> it's sort of you know like it's uh, uh, people thinking. It's yeah. uh, thinking and questioning assumptions and not just naturally forming, uh, following along, um, thinking, oh, you know, this is the way things always have to happen. This is, this is all there is um, to this project yeah. and, and, um, and that's it. So just it, resistance is, is intellectual. It can be action um, as an activist thing or it can just be um, knowing, uh, sort of being aware of um, the larger forces that are involved in, in something happening. And uh, um, this is a geography class, correct? Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, what, what what's geography actually Well, it's is about the city. Like, it's yeah. it's uh, social justice in the city. So we also look at urbanization processes mm -hmm. and um, how those, um, you know, what are the processes that go into re redevelopment of something like yeah. Pike Place Market? Uh, what um, what are the structuring forces? What are the forms of agency people bring to bear? Yeah. Um, like the resistance of, of Victor Steinbrook um, to the to the demolition of the market. So it's it's very geographical in the sense that it's about the 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 changes to space and yeah. the fights over those changes um, and the um, ways that people also uh, will work for changes that are that are good. And how how does this fit? Because I, I'm trying to understand the concept of social sciences a little bit, and uh, so how do you, how does this fit in sort of the definition of social sciences? I mean, according to you, how? Well, I mean, everybody has different ideas about the social sciences. Yeah, I are, know. But this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you know. So um, my uh, sense is that it's um, it's about understanding the processes that go into. Um, anything. Yeah. So for, for me, it's what goes into the formation of the city, the production yeah. of space. Uh, for others, it may be the process that, that lead to people migrating or yeah. that lead to um, uh, sort of um, questions around build, uh, building or uh, whatever people do in other, other uh, disciplines. But um, I, I'm taken by the idea that it's also about sort of, um, building up the ability to think critically about those processes. Yeah and to form persuasive arguments related to them that are based in data and um, informed theory. Yeah. Mm, 
What 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 have you else have you heard about the, you know, I, from other people? I've been talking with the sociologists, philosophists, and uh, I kind of have the sense that it's something that has to do with people, with dynamics within the society, with culture and how culture is produced. And uh, but there is also something that has to do with the methodology of the way in which these yeah. whole things are measured. So there is a because I and I kind of guessing that it's the idea of science that yeah. comes in because I guess so it's something you have to do with people and with movement and a way to measure these yeah. things. So yeah. Yeah. it makes sense what you're saying. I mean, it just does. Yeah, people use data differently. Yeah. Like how you measure is an interesting yeah. question. And uh, in this class, we use more sort of. Um, uh, quanti qualitative kinds of methods of measurement, but also we look at statistics and mapping and things yeah. like that, which we c might think of as more quantitative yeah. forms of um, of evidence. So in this class, it's it's more uh, more on the humanity side yeah. of of um, how we use data and evidence than sort of more uh, sort of demographic population or um, let's look at input output models of you know changes in the yeah. downtown. But we do use some of that kind of those numbers and that yeah. hard data, if you will, uh, in the class. And can I ask you how did you get interested? I mean, how why did you choose the class? <laughs> Well, I love cities. Uh, I'm, I'm from Boston, which is a great oh, wow. city. And then I did my PhD at um, the University of California at Berkeley, oh, which wow. is Berkeley, yeah. such a great city. <laughs> and I love Seattle. So it was sort of natural for me to think about uh, social sciences in terms of um, the processes that make cities. Yeah. And uh, for my dissertation, for example, I looked at the changing nature of Vancouver, BC, oh, wow. with m migration from Hong Kong in the 1980s. So there was a lot of contestation over uh, the changes in the spaces of Vancouver with this big immigrant group coming in that actually had a lot of money. Yeah. Usually, immigrant gr groups, as you know, come in at the bottom of uh, you know the economic hierarchy. This group came in at the top and as a result there was a lot of changes in the urban wow. landscape. So I'm very interested in like how do we understand those changes? How do we measure them? How do we know about them? How do we make an argument about them, you know, in terms of using data and yeah. theory about what's happening? And it was a it was a process that involved, um, you know, flows of capital. It was a process that involved racism. As some people were, you know, didn't want Chinese people coming into yeah. the into the neighborhood, and that those the, the sort of intersection of those kinds of processes, which are cultural, which are economic, which are political, that for me was like, mm, mm, I want more of that, and uh, that's how I became a sort of urbanist and also a geographer. And what? How do you feel about teaching it online? You know, it's it's been really interesting. I I feel like a lot of the things are the same. Um, I'm teaching the same materials. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually drawing, I think, in interesting ways on the internet more, uh, like directly in the the lectures. So I will you know talk about something, but then we'll show it, and the students can just like click. You know, so yeah. easy. They can go right to the thing I want them to see, and then and then they can come back to me, and I can sort of critique it. Say what yeah. th this is what you looked at. This is what I think's happening in it. So there's an easier sort of um, intersection between me as a person talking and what's going on with other kinds of data that are online. Mm -hmm. So that's been fun, and I also, you know, I'm, I'm a, I, we haven't sh run it yet, so I don't really know how it's going to work. But I've heard that the discussion forum is a really fun way for yeah. the students to be able to communicate with each other. We'll see. I, I'm curious too, like how well is that going to work, and how much do I step in, and how much do I hold yeah. back? And I've I've given some structure to the kinds of questions that people are are going to be addressing, but uh, I'm also we sort of going to let also let people talk, you know, yeah. or, or write uh, as the case will be. Well, I mean, this this was very helpful, and uh, you know, I think I'm gonna go around and check out some books. It's uh, again, this history sounds so beautiful. So this is one of the best bookstores in all of Seattle, Thank you so and in much. fact, in all of the country. So please look look Thank around. Thank you so much. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.